I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. We're having leftover soup tonight. Mondays we usually have leftover something. Last Monday we had the leftover pasta fajol and then tonight we're having the leftover 15 bean and barley soup that I just went ahead and after it cooled off completely I covered the whole crock with plastic wrap and I put the lid in it upside down and we put it in the outside fridge. It's been just sitting out there in cold storage for a week. So it's time to eat it. Whatever's left tonight will probably be breakfast for our dogs in the morning. So we're going to enjoy this tonight, but I'm going to make some sourdough biscuits to go along with it. I have a lot of sourdough. It's been growing and growing and I keep feeding it. This is almost a half a gallon of sourdough over here. And this is, I just fed this one so that it would be ready for us. You can see how nice and foamy that is. It is a happy sourdough. A happy little sourdough. So we're going to start off by mixing our dry ingredients here. I have four cups of flour um, in my bowl and we're going to add to that two tablespoons of baking powder. Actually we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, pardon me. I'm modifying my original buttermilk biscuit recipe to go um, for the sourdough biscuits. We're also going to do um, a teaspoon of baking soda. You'll need both baking powder and baking soda when making the sourdough biscuits. Um, there is something with the baking soda that helps the baking uh, the sourdough work better. And we're going to use about a teaspoon of salt. And that is my Himalayan salt. All right. I'm going to whisk really quick and whisk these things together. Am I keeping you awake, honey? Mm. Dogs. I know. All right. Now I have 12 tablespoons of butter that I have cubed up here. And I have, I'm going to give these just a light toss in the butter and break them up a bit so that they'll distribute a little bit better. That ought to be good. Get in here with our pastry blender. And I'm kind of punching and twisting all at the same time. I, the, the more you do it, the better you get, the faster you get, and it's easy. But I will say, if you do not have a pastry blender, then you should have one of those in your toolkit in your kitchen. Um, and when you buy a pastry blender, make sure you buy a blade style pastry blender and not a wire style pastry blender. It does make quite a bit of difference in the quality and the um, the capability of the tool. You can see this looks like a series of sharp knives actually. So instead of a, a wire. Our dry ingredients and our butter have been blended and it looks like coarse meal and it's exactly how we want it to look. We're going to go ahead and add a cup of sourdough. I think a cup. I'm going to go with a cup and a half. Okay. Put my lid back on here. And a cup of buttermilk or thereabouts. I have some buttermilk left here that I need to use. Oh, we'll look. Hey. Look like a Starbucks mocha. Oh, mocha chino, if I don't stir it, it's going to start churning here. So yeah. I'm just going to get in here with my spoon. 
or latte or whatever they call it. It does. It's like a homey thing designed on the top. Mm-hmm. Okay, now with my impeccably clean hands, I'm going to get my dough scraper out and I'm going to, I'm going to wipe off my placemat here. A lot of you are always asking me, what is it I use um, on my cutting board? It's just a placemat. It's just cheap little placemat. I'm going to dry it off here. I bleach this at least a couple of times a day, so it's always very clean. And get some flour down there. And before I do anything, I rinse my hands so that I can take my rings off. Here we go. Now, oops, sorry for the noise. We're going to get in here with our hands. Give it another dusting on the top of some flour. You don't necessarily want to knead it like you knead a, a loaf of bread. You know when you're when you're doing bread dough, you kind of want to smash it and then fold it, fold it over because that way you're actually forming the layers that are going to bake apart inside the biscuit and kind of get all this dough incorporated in there and it will come together even if you're discouraged and you think it's not going to it is totally going to come together and if your dough feels a little wet then go ahead and give it another dusting sourdough biscuits are going to be a little bit moister than a traditional buttermilk biscuit dough. So if you think that it's a little bit um, on the moist side, that's exactly how you want it, okay? And this will be the last time I fold it. So five or six times And then I'm just going to use my hands and I'm going to pat it out. I'm going to try and pat it out into pretty much of a rectangular shape. You can use a rolling pin if you want to. It's not a big deal. Everybody can do it as they choose. You're shooting for about a half inch thick. I am almost there. I'm almost there. I have a baking sheet that's already ready already and it has a piece of parchment on it and it's ready to go. So now I'm going to rinse my hands off yet again. Okay. 
I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And we are going to cut these biscuits in squares. Cat's cradle style. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of eyeballing this and then I'm going to go back and cut them officially. They don't have to be perfect. They just have to be biscuits. Hmm? This way, you don't have to worry about re-rolling your dough. You can just cut them, put them on the pan, and bake them. It doesn't matter if they're round. They could be round, they could be square, they can be heart shaped or shamrock shaped just it's entirely up to you but I think if you if you do it with a round cutter and this dough is on the sticky side just cut them square it makes everything easier makes life a lot easier for you you can see how flaky and layered these are already because they're already starting to come apart let's stick my don't worry about that being a weird shape. Just go with it. Cook's treat, right? Or Sammy's. <laughs> Sammy's? Lucky dog, huh? She heard her name. And here she comes. Huh. Oh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> she heard her name. Right on cue. <laughs> there she is. Sitting great. Is she really? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at you, goofball. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and put these all on the pan and I'll be right back and we'll put these in the oven. Our sourdough biscuits are ready to go in the oven and like I said, my oven is preheated to 375 degrees and I'm just going to pop those right on in there for 15 to 20 minutes and when they're ready to come out, we'll be right back. Okay, we are ready to pull these out of the oven. They have been in here for 15 minutes. And they're gorgeous. Look at that. The only other thing that we're going to do to these, like I do with all of my biscuits, is we're going to brush the tops with some melted butter. And you know, if you just set, um, if you're like me, you can just set your, um, your cup of butter on top of your stove while your biscuits are baking and it'll melt. There we go. I'm gonna break one of these open so you can see it and I'm gonna have Rick taste it and I'm probably gonna taste it too. If I have to. If you have to, well you have to and you're gonna like it, damn it. And just get rid of all this butter. There's not that much left in here, so. Remember that was my response when we got married? Yeah, when we got married. The pastor, the, the justice of the peace said, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? And he said, I have if to. I have to. But I said it too, mm -hmm. so we planned it. But... Then, after we got married, we saw the cutest thing. You can show me. We saw the cutest thing where someone got married and they said, we're going to take our vows now. Recite our vows. We're going to recite our vows now. And, and they said together, the, they went, A-E-I-O-U and sometimes Y. That would have been downright hilarious. We would have done that. We totally would have done that because... We're just crazy like that. Yeah, Let's so. try one of these biscuits anyway, shall we? You have your eye on one? Um, no, not really. All right. Well, let's eat an ugly one. Okay. Oh, they're, they're really soft. Okay, let's bring it over here. And just to let you know, I've never made sourdough biscuits before. So 
we're learning together. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Let's get down the butter belt. Oops, somebody didn't fill that up. Let me grab a butter knife here. Let's see what these look like. Oh, they're pretty. They're really nice. Look at that. Hmm? Go for it, honey. They're going to be hot. Down. Here. Take the little ones. Hmm? Well, matter. Yeah. Hmm. Too bad y'all can't taste it. What can you show me? Extreme close up. These are really good. Mm hmm. There's just a hint of sourdough in the back. Oh, really good. Mm hmm. And they're really moist. And they're light. I might not have room for soup. You know, to quote a movie, they're so fluffy. They really are. What movie is that from? Just pick with me. That's right. They're so but fluffy. It's so fluffy. Well, they're so fluffy. Anyway, Bev, use your sourdough and make some of these biscuits. They're knock your socks off. Howie will love them. Knock your socks off, too. They'll, they'll knock his socks off, too. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all try this. Make yourself some sourdough. Sourdough is really easy. If you don't know how to make sourdough, I have a whole playlist on how to sourdough from beginning to end. It's a six-part series of how to start your sourdough, how to feed it every day at the beginning. The sourdough I use, I've had since a year ago, and I just use it all the time. If you don't feel like using your sourdough, like maybe the summer rolls around, you don't feel like breaking bread, don't get rid of it. Just Put a lid on it, stick it in the fridge, and forget about it. It's going to get a layer of hooch on the top of it. Don't even look at it. It's okay. When you get ready to make sourdough bread again, just get it out, stir it up, bring it to room temperature, and feed it. Then you'll be ready to use it again. So, that is how you make sourdough biscuits. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And I thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. And until next time, I'll see ya.